the opposite end of Alato is a young Miami, somebody who doesn't really appear to kind of take this as serious, somebody who just seems like she just wanted to get lit. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, she just returned her podcast. She was a top five podcast. She was winning all of the podcast awards I two remember years that. ago. Yeah. Being Everything. Drink Champs. Being everybody. Joe Budden. Drink Champs was hot as fucking <laughs> yeah. fish grease. And she was smoke. Like, they was having Kanye West. They was on a run with Kanye, Big Sean, The Game, all of these people. And she somehow was beating them by putting out four episodes a year. Right? It looked funny. We, we may have an understanding today, knowing her affiliations right. and who she was dating and his power and his control and his ego and his willingness to do whatever the fuck he wanted to do, which we all have seen, right? She's back. Carisha, she please. Mm -hmm. Kari, wait, how I say Carisha, that? Carisha. Carisha. This supposed to be a coach. Come on. We got to look up Carisha. the phonetic spelling. That ain't, she ain't <laughs> saying my coach. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah, she, she came she did back a, and she spoke on Diddy. Right. She did an episode, uh, a new episode of Carisha Please with her friend, Saucy Santana, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who was also a musician. I wanted to play some of it because in this clip here, and Reggie, I want you to speak to this too, though, before I play this clip. The City Girls started off really big, right? Yeah. Yes. I fucking remember their first tape, like with the cover of them sitting in the kitchen. Like, I remember when people were like, yo, have you heard this song? Like, have you heard this duo? And then they fucking exploded. I think that was like 2018, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. What do you think some of the things uh, like their up. fan base gravitated to that they, you know, that they liked about the two of them? Whores. <laughs> That's fair. Everybody likes like a Like the fact whore. that they were talking about like, scamming men and talking their shit and just mm. being like yeah i want a bag and i'm in his too like that that type like of fun, shit fun type of music yeah okay okay all right and well. being from miami being lit it was whole activity too it was whole. Oh, it was sure. but hoeing is empowering yeah it was because niggas sure. hoe too like yeah. men is it goes both ways but hey yeah, amber, it was amber rose did a whole walk just to hoe come on now let me play this clip with y'all now this clip is going to define the <laughs> relationship walk. yeah the slow walk you remember that um, this clip that I'm going to play, uh, Carisha is defining the relationship, the current relationship between her and JT. I'm not going to lie. When I hear that clip, the one thing that I can take away from it, Saucy Santana, that's a talented motherfucker, gang. Nah, that nigga talented. Because how to, like, Wait, why? I'm, I'm, I'm not, mm -hmm. I can't see the visuals, right? So I'm only listening audibly. Mm -hmm. The way that he's able to change his voice to sound like a, fe like a woman. No, that's his voice. No, no, no but it, listen. Mm -hmm. They did sound similar in they, that clip. It, the mm -hmm. inflection in that, that is talent to convince. Because if you look at him, like, yeah. that's a big nigga. Is it, is it talent or you start acting more like similar to your friends if no, you've been around him? I'm just you know saying what I mean? it's impressive for him to have that stature. Yeah. <laughs> and sound like that. Able, oh, so he was looking at his stature. What you I've, seen? I've seen that. <laughs> what you seen He's on that? He's built. Like a belt. He, like that. He like, you know, mm -hmm. he got Wait, does he identify as, <laughs> as a man or? <laughs> what happened? Serious question. Does, what does he identify? We're not doing that. I don't know. Yeah, what, I'm not sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not I, really I not don't, I don't know. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. We don't know. Yeah, yeah, we don't know. General General question. question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't know. Okay. But yeah. I was just saying, based on his voice, mm. it sounds like a woman. <laughs> well, I'm glad she sat down with someone she felt comfortable with because she actually divulged into things that a lot of people were curious about. Not me per se, mm -hmm. but, but you're like I didn't give a fuck. Yeah, I didn't really care. But people who were fans of the City Girls were very confused as to why the both of them pivoted, mm -hmm. um, why they, you know, started to endure on their solo careers, and what we saw as a, as the tail end of their relationship was we saw Young Miami getting very close with Diddy, and we saw JT got into a relationship with Lil Uzi, mm -hmm. which started, I guess, was the start of like their music. Not, I guess, you could say decline, but even output. Like, you just saw less and less of them over the time. Like, they got preoccupied in a sense. Right, like, yeah, they yeah. got preoccupied in a sense. And it made me think that, it made me think if either of them really had the love for music or if they really just caught something in a bottle and was just riding the fame. Well, again, I started this by comparing Lotto to Young Miami. And it appears that JT really takes the music aspect of this thing Especially serious. That last album. Yeah, like, yep. she, she just seems, this is where I want to go with my career. And there's nothing wrong with saying, hey... We started this together, and wait, a lot of people they didn't fuck with my Kai Sinai shit last week. Yeah, you. What are. Are. I, I do got to I do got to address that. Like, the hold on, hold on, Speak hold on, on it, yeah, yeah. I, The only thing I didn't like is <laughs> what I was speaking to was a whole different dynamic than our dynamic. That's what I was trying to tell you. That's all I was. Speaking <laughs> to. And what Bro, I'm about to say also kind of plays into that too. Well, 
For the listeners that didn't hear last week, what are you, what are you referencing, bro? Well, last week with the Kyle Sinai situation, obviously he's with a group and y'all have educated me. Thank y'all. Thank you. Pierre, <laughs> uh, Alex, Reggie, commenters. Y'all have informed me that Kai Sinai is a part of a group, a collective, AMP, mm -hmm. and everybody kind of has their own individual thing, but they all came together to do this one thing. Cool. I got that. I understood. Oh, you learned quick. I still stand on Kai Sinai is the one. I He's mean, still the one, but the one in terms of what? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it, in terms of yeah. I have the most uh, notoriety out of this group. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it doesn't mean everybody else That's is fair. failing. It just means that he just happened to be the one that broke through on a mainstream level. He's mm -hmm. doing fucking sleepovers with Kevin Hart. Like we can't deny. Yes, he may be the one, but needless to say, when it comes to groups in general. I think one of the things that really allow us to kind of continue to do what it is that we do is that everybody respects each other and everybody knows what it is that they want to do, mm -hmm. right? I'm aware of Alex's aspirations in life. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm aware Vice of versa. Reggie's aspirations in life. Y'all are aware of what it is that I aspire to be in life, right? Yeah, yeah. So although our aspirations we have individual places that we want to go, individuals, endeavors that we want to kind of tap into. We also understand like this is a collective, but we respect that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I think a lot of people get into groups and they just have phenomenal chemistry, right? Like a city girls. And then when they get to the, the, the breaking point or that decision point of, hey, this is where I am and this is where I could go, they, they, they take separate roads. And that's what we're seeing with the City Girls. They got to a point where mm -hmm. everybody knows who they are. JT wants to do music. Yeah. yeah. I want to do music. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to just be Instagram famous. I don't just want to be lit. I want to actually do music where Young Miami seems like, yo, I just want to be lit. Yeah. She, in that interview, it seemed like to me, I was gathering, it seemed like she was very interested in like having a bunch of business ventures, you know, selling things like her merch, her products, her card game. And she was kind of like, okay, let me leverage my popularity and career to do these things instead of like going to like a rap camp and like improving on my music. That's what right. I gathered from it. And I believe one of the things that hinder the folks in these groups are that people don't really express where they're at in that current moment. Mm -hmm. Because uh, us as people, we, we change. Yeah, There's nothing wrong sure. with that. Sure. But expressing these changes is how the other party can properly communicate or go, you know, go about from that. And if you don't have that, then miscommunication builds. Yeah. Then you start to drift. Then the 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 want to even want to see each other just dwindles and mm -hmm. it's completely out of the situation and scenario like now. Resentment and stuff. Yeah, now that resentment builds and it's like, all right, cool. What do we do now? Yeah. We came into business together. We, we're supposed to make money together. And that's one mm -hmm. thing I heard Young Miami mention in this 33-minute uh, uh, response to the world. She mentioned that the group wasn't making any more money. Well, a lot of people that's not in the music business or just entertainment in general and I'm going to be a little bit sexist, and that's cool. Fuck it. <laughs> it is what it is. I don't make the rules. But when you have a, a, a female or a woman artist, it takes a little bit more with the oh, glam, yeah. the glam, with the, yeah. the oh, outfits, yeah, yeah, yeah. with the, the wardrobe, Absolutely. with those kind of Prep. things, with the upkeep. Yep. It, it, it's a bigger investment. And I'm not saying it's better or worse because there's a lot of niggas that's in the street that get shot and get killed. So that's a fucked up investment, too, if that's the type <laughs> of artist that you're investing in. Yeah. But when it comes to a, a female artist, the investment is also their image and their upkeep. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it's a lot easier to lose money when you invest in a female group. Now, it's not only one artist, but now I have two yeah. that I have to focus on, two that I have to make sure have their makeup, have their hair, have their entourage, have their makeup artists that they want, the nail techs. Like mm -hmm. it's a little bit more. So it's very easy to see them losing money when you think of it from that lens. Yeah, for sure. I just wish the two of them had more communication. JT is. Well, she's in a relationship but has no kids. Uh, young Miami, I know, has more than one child. So you get into a relationship with a billionaire. But sometimes you gotta, mm -hmm. you gotta do that. No, for sure. I'm just saying the dynamic between the two of them. Just think about it, right? Mm -hmm. One gets into a relationship with a billionaire. Not just a billionaire. He's a music mogul. Freaky ass nigga. Freak ass music mogul. She says she like golden showers. She did, and since she tried to she tried to backpedal, back she said she yeah. like she tried to backtrack on a lot of the things that she I'm said sure. over the years that was caught in 4K. No, for sure. You like to get pissed on. It's cool. <laughs> and naturally, your lifestyle is gonna change when you fucking with a billionaire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here come the other party, which is a JT. I'm sure she has money. I'm sure QC provided for her. You know, I'm sure she wasn't popped. But 
in terms of wants, needs, and goals, I'm sure they change when you fucking with a billionaire. And Lil Uzi got some money. He got mm-hmm. some paper. But it, it wasn't what Diddy had. Yeah. And I say had because I'm sure he's lost a bunch since, you know, all of the allegations. Take, like her, like her palate that, changed. Yeah. For real. Yeah, like that power denied me. That power changed. Exactly. Yeah. No, no, no. Palette. Like, like the, things that she was, the things that she was used to have now been altered because of what she's been exposed to with Diddy. Right. Yeah. And, and the level of it, right? Like, right. they all rich. They all got money. Billionaire money, multi-million dollar money, it's different. And yeah. your wants could literally change. 